is Filippo and he has just brought me a trailer full of horse poo. Hooray! So I've put on my grubby gear and I shall go and shovel. Oh, I love a bit of horse poo, me. First thing on a Friday morning. It's the best. Maybe I'll wear a little bit of perfume <laughs> on a mask around my face. I've just been to have a look and where well, I'm going to put that horse poo. And uh, it's so weedy up to here. It needs strimming before I can put down several layers of compost and then, no, cardboard, and then put the horse poo on top and then cover it with a tarp. Good job I'm in the mood for cooking because today I am cooking up a storm and I've got to make some rolls for uh, the Open Day at Ted's School tomorrow and a tray bake. I'm going to do Millionaire's Flapjack. Oh, I need to add something to my shopping list. I want tinned caramel. Actually, I've decided that Millionaire's Flapjack will be too sweet. So I'm not going to get the tinned caramel. I'm just going to do Flapjack which is a recipe I got from my friend Turnip, who I talked about the other day, who dragged me through university, stopped me from dropping out. And um, it's a really good recipe. The trick is, don't bake it till it's solid. It's still gotta be wobbly when you pull it out of the oven and then it's just delicious. And if I put caramel on top of that and then chocolate, it's just gonna be too sweet. So I'm just gonna do chocolate. I'll get milk chocolate and white chocolate and I'll do fancy swirls. Oh, look, that mirror is making my hair look funny. Look at those. Do you want to know a bit more about them? I'll turn you around and show you and tell you. So this is a tiny mirror that I got from a secondhand shop somewhere. And that is a tiny picture I got from the same secondhand shop. And this frame I got in the auction and that is a photocopy of my great grandmother's lemon curd recipe. I love where she says white lemon, rub sugar in on them to extract the oil, grate the rest of the yellow rinds, add sugar, lemon juice and grated rinds and dissolve, add butter, no, add beaten eggs and stir constantly until thickened, pour, pour into pots. That doesn't look like porn. <laughs> and then this beautiful chap here, Scottish chap, no idea who he is, but the people at the, um, at the auction house said that if it didn't sell, it was gonna be stripped for the frame and the photo would be put in the skip. And it made me sad. I thought he's somebody's son. This guy here came with this guy. So somebody loved these boys so much that they had these photos taken and framed beautifully and I just couldn't bear for them to, to be ditched. Oh, no idea who they are. Yeah. And then this is a mirror I got from a junk shop. And then this I got when I had lunch out and got that from a shop in Bristol. I think that was with Linda. Yeah, nice. I like it. And this over here is a painting by my friend's husband's made an aunt and it's a motorway <laughs> i really love it though <laughs> what a random thing to paint yeah it's a motorway <laughs> that tickles me so much and then i got a little fake hydrangea that i got from debbie rumors with a view and i love it and then there's a oh that looks weird in the camera but it's not weird in real life Plant stand, jolly hockey sticks, desk, grandfather clock, cardboard for the garden, 
they were they were going to chuck this out from um, an old sort of a junk shop thing. It was absolutely did there were no shelves. It was just yeah. So I said, look, I'll give you a fiver and I'll take it home. I didn't even like it. Didn't even want it. But I like it now. And I think it will look really good in the barn. And over here we've got, oh, I've put them up wrong. I took them down when we painted and then I didn't put them back up in the right order. These were by, oh, mum will tell me, look in the comments down below for Lavender Lace Lady and she'll tell you. I think they're by my stepfather's uncle's wife. I love them. And then I've got a random <laughs> Titanic, the Nancy Drew uh, line drawing. A couple of, I love these, they were from the, um, from the auction house. And then this is one of my favorite painters. Oh, it's on the wonk, Tina Stokes. Oh, she's digging. Alex, Miami Corner. Ruby isn't the only one who digs when you're on the vlogs. Gosh, that was four minutes of waffle. I just went to get my keys again. I've already got them, but no car keys. Off to the zero waste shop and off to the supermarket to get everything I need, everything I need for my, what was that just dropped on my head? For my cooking. And it's cold today. Well, today did not go as planned. I'm at Wilf School now, early by 20 minutes, because I've spent most of the afternoon at the supermarket, which was poor people. They'd had a four hour power cut. So everything in the chilled and frozen aisles had to be My phone just did something really strange. I think it's because I was I plugged it in to sort the battery out. Anyway, the um anyway, the they'd had a power cut. They'd had to chuck away so much food that it's got to be really disheartening. And they're just legally not allowed to sell it. It's such a shame because after four hours, the cheese would have been fine, especially if it was a well heavily stacked, stocked thing shelf it's such a shame I mean I wouldn't risk fish or chicken but oh what a shame anyway that was anyway that was um it was a bit tricky getting around there and then the M5 northbound and southbound has been closed this afternoon because of cows <laughs> So all of the roads around near where I live have been chaos. And I then looked at the time and thought, if I go home now, because I hadn't had any lunch, I'm literally going to go home and then I have to leave two minutes later. So I thought, right, I will just go straight to Wilf's school. So that's what I've done. I've come to Wilf's school and here I am, hungry. Luckily, I've got cool bags in the boot of the car with stuff in, so that's that's absolutely fine. So, I think I'll try to get ahead of editing yesterday's vlog. Um, it would be so nice if I could get a chance to start to reply to some comments. I, I, can't, I haven't kept up at all. I hope that I will catch up over the coming months, but... If I don't respond to you, it's not because I haven't loved your comment, it's just because... If you think of each comment as an email to read and to respond to, when you're getting about 40 emails a day, it's wonderful, but not really possible to keep all the plates spinning if you're going to do responses to everybody. But I do try to catch up. Okay, uh, I didn't do any cooking this afternoon, obviously, so that will all have to happen this evening. I'm kind of regretting now. 
<laughs> during a big deciding to do to experiment and cook all the recipes from the book that I wanted to try but never mind we live and learn I might get a banana out the boot of my car okay I am back it is 20 to 5 still got my dresses there haven't hung them up yet and um I left the house at midday but the traffic's been diabolical I've already said that haven't I I just want to show you what I got from zero waste shop I've started to do my shopping list and then go to that shop and get everything I possibly can from there before going to the supermarket and the reason being is it's not that dear and she's had to go down to three day opening week because footfall was lower and I just desperately don't want her to close not that I think that my shopping is you'd rather look at my ugly mug than a load of shopping bags wouldn't you so not that I think that my custom is going to keep her going but um if everyone did that it, she would keep going so I got golden caster sugar, golden raisins, the amount of coconut flakes that I needed so I didn't have to buy a big packet just for what I needed for a recipe, which I really, really appreciate. Same with the golden raisins because they are a bit more expensive than regular um, what raisins or these sultanas, I've forgotten. So... I, I, that's what I like. <laughs> Red wine vinegar. I didn't need a whole bottle, so I've just got the amount that I needed. Pistachio nuts. Tahini. Ground almonds, because they go... What is the word when nuts go off? They don't go sour. Reesty. I can't remember. So I got just the amount of ground almonds that I need. Caraway seeds, because I get through those because of a nigella dish that I do. Um, dried mint. Now, I've always had a low opinion of dried mint. I never, never use it, but the recipe calls for dried mint specifically. And since I only decided yesterday, I didn't have time to pick my own and dry it. So dried mint. Um, cumin seeds, I use those a lot. Bread flour. Pine nuts. Ooh, nuts. And desiccated coconut, desiccated coconut, desiccated coconut, desiccated coconut. Woo! Desiccated coconut, desiccated coconut. Home a train, all aboard. <laughs> haven't even walked the poor dog. Haven't done my, haven't done all my squats. I've done thirty. Uh, so I'm going to quickly walk the dog. Then I need to make a tray bake for Ted's school for tomorrow and some cheese rolls, and prep this food for tomorrow. It's a good job I'm in the mood for cooking. I'm back from walking the dog. First things first. Oh, she's still out there. I'm going to make some butter, some herb butter with this double cream that wants using up. Um, it's ever so easy to do. If you watch one of the, I don't know what episode it was, one of the Bakery Bears episodes, Kay in Kay's Cozy Kitchen, she makes butter. It's really, really easy and just very satisfying to do. I remember doing it for the first time by mistake when I was about nine and I over whipped some cream. And I didn't know then that you could just add a little bit extra cream in, stir it and it brings it back. But um, mum just said, keep whipping it, it'll turn into butter. So what you do is you whip it till you've got butter fat solids and buttermilk and then you rinse it in really icy cold water the butter it gets rid of the rest of the buttermilk and then and then you salt it and then you keep it in your fridge or on your counter or whatever just use it up yummy if it's salted it will last ages as well 
I say ages, but you know, within reason. There's no preservatives in it. It's the salt that preserves it. There, look, there's the butter. There's the buttermilk. I'll save that. And then I'm gonna put some ice and some water in here and then just let squeeze out the rest of the buttermilk. We'll come back to that in a minute. Now I'm gonna make the cake. I'll show you the cake. Hold on, let me get the book. This is the book I'm cooking from, Persiana. I'm probably saying that wrong. I don't care. And I'm gonna make spiced carrot, pistachio and almond cake with rose water cream. Yum. Okay, so I need to beat eggs, sugar and vanilla. Let's just do it. I'm just gonna do it. I'll show you when it's done, all right? I need to get a wriggle on. If I record everything <laughs> that I make now, Tomorrow's vlog will take forever to edit and I'm gonna have a really busy day tomorrow. So for the sake of my well-being and <laughs> how much sleep I get, I'll just show you it all when it's done. But I will, if I can find the links to the recipes, link them below tomorrow after I've shown you all the food cooked. Hope that's all right. Well, if it's not, go and watch Ina Garten on the cooking channel. She is brilliant and Nigella and Delia. I've just been down to the village to pick Bill up because he's been out on his scooter. Right, right, and we saw right. Lucy, didn't we, in her prom dress? Oh, my scooter is Ted scooter. All right, Ted scooter. We oh, saw Lucy Lisa. in her prom dress. What did you think, Bill? Uh, good. She looked nice, didn't she? Yeah. She looked absolutely delicious i'm so glad that it's a lovely a really nice length on her so yeah. she can wear trainers later when her feet hurt and um oh she did look great hopefully i'll get some photos so that was the dress that i was altering and stressing about so it's really it was such a relief to see her just oh i'm really happy <laughs> The recipe I'm doing now calls for the juice of five lemons, so I'm zesting them. And I will freeze the zest so that I've always got lemon zest when I need lemon zest for something, but don't need the juice. I'm not tight, honestly, I'm just, just naturally don't like to waste anything. I am a very, tidy cook oh yeah you're a tidy chef i am a tidy chef okay, you are tidy but you are not a tidy chef <laughs> i'll catch up with you tomorrow it's five to nine i'm still cooking i'm still making a massive mess and uh i'm behind schedule and quite frankly i'm having the best time of my life and plane went over. I'm having the time of my life and I need to focus. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. Bye bye. Oh no, wrong voice. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.